A Trumpocrat, that's what former Governor Rod Bogoyevich now calls himself a day after the president commuted his prison sentence. He also calls himself a victim of a corrupt prosecution despite his remaining felony conviction. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff tried to ask him what he'd say to critics, but taking questions was not part of the day's plan. The atmosphere boisterous outside former Governor Rob Lagojevich's house today. In addition to reporters, there were supporters, handshakes, and expressions of gratitude to President Donald Trump for commuting the rest of Blagojevich's 14-year prison sentence. Yeah, I've got 10,000 reasons to be thankful to President Trump. I'm obviously thankful to be home, to have my freedom back, to uh, just be able to hold my wife's hand. But most of all, I'm thankful to you, Mr. President, for giving my daughters their father back. Blagojevich stood with his family a mere 12 hours after his plane from Denver landed in Chicago. President Trump's commutation came more than a year after he first hinted he might do so. I want to thank this mystery man, a young man who brought all this about. I just met him yesterday, and this is Mark Vargas. He's uh, quite a guy, and he's, uh, he, he's the kind of guy who can get you out of prison if you find yourself stuck there. Vargas, a self-described Washington insider, accompanied Blagojevich on his plane ride home. I first talked with him last fall after he became the Blagojevich's spokesperson. I'm in direct communication with Jared Kushner. Vargas told me in October, referring to President Trump's son-in-law, who he said fully supported the idea of Blagojevich's release. So far up till now, in the history of our country, no one has done more or is currently working to do more to fix this broken and racist criminal justice system than President Trump and Jared Kushner. But Blagojevich didn't take any questions, never indicated he'd done anything wrong, and referred to himself as a freed political prisoner, despite remaining a convicted felon. Wiping blood off his chin from a shaving cut, Blagojevich stayed close to his wife and daughters, proclaiming... It's been a long, long journey. That's right. I'm bruised and I'm battered, I'm bloody. 